New Zealand, a land of rich indigenous culture and stunning landscapes, is also home to enigmatic legends that blend natural wonder with mystery. Among these tales is the story of the Mohau Man, a forest being from Māori folklore. With reports of attacks and sightings dating back to the 19th century and numerous modern sightings, the Mohau Man remains one of New Zealand's most intriguing mythical creatures. This cryptid, deeply rooted in Māori folklore, is described as a large, hairy humanoid lurking in the dense forests and mountains of the Coromandel Peninsula, predominantly in the Mohau Mountain Range. These fearsome beings have been depicted as terrible creatures, half man, half animal, with an extremely aggressive nature. They were known to massacre and devour anyone who entered their territory. The Mohau Man is often considered part of a larger genus of creatures known as the Maidor. The Maidor are more widely recognized in Māori folklore, with tales of their existence spanning various regions of New Zealand, particularly the South Island. According to some Māori stories, the Mohau is a descendant of the Maidor, while others believe they are the same species. Stories of the Mohau Man describe it as a terror for both early European settlers and Māori inhabitants, with witnesses depicting it as a large, hairy, humanoid creature, significantly larger and stronger than the average human. Standing up to eight feet tall, or just under two and a half meters, it is said to have an ape-like face, long arms, overgrown shaggy black hair, and a strong, unpleasant odor. Some accounts mention sharp, knife-like fingernails growing from long, spindly fingers used as deadly weapons, while others tell of it wielding primitive stone clubs. Regardless of the means of predation, the unfortunate victim, whether human or beast, is said to be consumed by this creature. According to Māori tradition, the Maidor race, of whom the Mohau man likely belongs to, were the sworn enemies of the Māori people. Constant conflict drove the Maidor deeper into the more rugged and inhospitable terrain that stretches throughout New Zealand, where these remote areas became their last refuge. Similar stories of friction and strife appear across various regions of the country, where multiple different Māori tribes passing down tales of these beings through generations, alongside accounts from early European settlers in the case of the Mohau Man, there have been numerous sightings and strange occurrences reported in the Coromandel Ranges over the years, from as recent as the 2020s, dating back to the 19th century. The earliest reported sighting of this beast was in the mid-1840s by Dr. David Munro, an amateur explorer who had described the creature as a cunning, mischievous wild man of the woods, with shaggy hair running from its head to its heels. He also noted its very long, sharp fingernails, which it would use to impale weckers, scrape off their feathers, and then use as a toasting fork to cook the wecker over a fire. Reports continued further into the 1800s as gold miners in the Coromandel began to venture deep into the remote forest, looking for areas to stake their claims. In 1882, in the Martha Mine region, the body of one such miner was found headless with his body partly devoured. Around the same time in this area, a woman was said to have been kidnapped, her body being later discovered with her neck having been twisted with great force. In the early 1900s, very large, flat-footed, human-like footprints were discovered embedded in the mud alongside a creek in the Karangahake Gorge. In 1970, the Coromandel Forest Park opened to the public, and in an attempt to dispel rumors, the press published an article claiming that the creature is now dead and has been buried, with the Mohau Man being all but one big elaborate myth. Jim Reedy, a counselor of the local county, was quoted in the article stating that there has never been any sort of creature in the area. That same year, however, a group of campers in the area had to abandon their site when a two-meter-tall man-beast attacked them, screaming loudly and throwing rocks at their camp. 
In 1991, Les Lyle, the owner of a pub near Lake Mahinapua, reported that a man-ape creature raided his vegetable patch. He'd witnessed the beast rushing back to the dense bush carrying an armload of silver beet. More recently, paranormal investigator and filmmaker Mark Koppel has been undergoing some research of his own. Venturing into a remote area of the Coromandel Bush where he has come across large footprints in hard-to-reach areas, as well as areas of bush with inexplicably crushed trees. He reports hearing footfall, as well as strange faint voices and an unnerving feeling of being watched. Despite the tales of perpetual war, some Māori families, such as the Kaihai family of Waikato and the Haopapa family of Rotorua, claim descent from the Meiro. Members of these families are notably large, though not as towering as their ancestors, who were said to reach the height of at least two and a half meters. The Meiro were also alleged to have been present in a southern region of the North Island, the Tararua Range, roughly one to two days' walk northeast of Wellington the modern-day capital of New Zealand. As the stories tell, the first Māori to enter the region came across what they called a thinly scattered tribe, this tribe being the Meiro. This mysterious tribe primarily resided in areas that were nigh inaccessible, only occasionally being encountered in the lowland plains during less abundant seasons. And at times such as this, like in other stories, it is said that some individuals were taken away, never to be seen again. The tales of another Māori tribe, located in the central west coast of the South Island, even suggest that there was a somewhat higher level of organization among some of the Meiro, telling of a giant Meiro and his clan living in a bush fortress located upon or near a local bluff. This clan would use their elevated position to their advantage, spotting Māori wayfarers who would pass by them near the coast. Another theory regarding the origins of the Mohau Man is that it might be based on the exaggerated tales of an escaped animal, such as a gorilla or a baboon. One such story involves a pet gorilla escaping into the hills after being teased by the crew of a ship anchored near Waiaro in 1924. The animal managed to slip away and was never captured. While cases like this might lead to misconceptions or conflated stories about mysterious creatures, isolated incidents cannot fully account for the widespread and consistent report of these beings throughout New Zealand's history. This lends credence to the idea that the tales of the Mohau Man and the Meiro have deeper roots in the region's folklore and cultural memory. The North American Sasquatch, or Bigfoot, is the most widely known mythical cryptid which could potentially be connected to the Meiro. Standing between 7 and 10 feet tall with a muscular build, the Sasquatch is described as being covered in dark hair, varying from black to brown and even reddish hues. They are considered to be generally shy and reclusive, with reports of aggressive behavior when provoked and threatened. The Sasquatch is deeply rooted in Native American folklore and legend, alongside numerous sightings, both long-standing and recent. The name likely originates from the Salish word Sasquets, meaning wild man or hairy man, with the Salish being a grouping of North American Indian tribes based on their comparable languages. Similarly, the Yeti of the Himalayas, or Abominable Snowman, is described as standing between 6 and 10 feet tall with a robust, ape-like body, typically depicted with white or grey fur suitable for its cold habitat. The Yeti is known for being more aggressive than its distant relatives. It has been a part of Tibetan and Nepalese folklore for centuries, with the name Yeti being derived from the Tibetan words Yashe, meaning rock bear, and Meti, meaning bear man. Australia's Yaoi stands between 6 and 10 feet tall and is described as a large, ape-like creature with long hair and talon-like fingers. Known for its elusive nature, the Yaoi is said to be generally shy, but can exhibit aggressive behavior if provoked. Revered as the guardian of the land by the Aboriginal peoples of Australia, 
This mysterious creature is known by many names. The common name Yawi is believed to originate from the word Yui, meaning dream spirit in the Yualawe Aboriginal language. Alternatively, some suggest it derives from the word Yahoo, an Aboriginal term for evil spirits. Other notable examples include the Almas of Mongolia and Central Asia, a bipedal ape-like creature covered in reddish-brown hair. The name Almas is linked to various place names in southwestern Mongolia, likely where the creature has been sighted. Another example is the Hibagon of Japan, a large, ape-like creature reported to be up to seven feet tall. The name Hiba refers to the Hiba Mountains in southern Japan, with gon being a suffix used to denote a creature or entity. The Mapinguari of the Amazon rainforest is another example, described as having long, sharp claws, a mouth on its stomach, and being covered in long, shaggy hair. The name is rooted in the indigenous languages of the Amazon, though its exact linguistic origins remain unclear. The uncanny resemblance between the tales of these vastly separated and distinct cultures is a mystery in and of itself. Do these stories speak as evidence of some parallel existence and development of these creatures alongside humans? Are these man-ape beings, much like ourselves, descendant from some common ancestor in the distant past? As long as dense forests and towering mountains exist, the intrigue surrounding the Mohau Man and its cryptid kin will endure, inspiring both awe and speculation. This enduring mystery invites us to explore and question the unknown. Are these creatures simply misunderstood wildlife, symbolic representations of nature's hidden dangers, or are they surviving remnants of an ancient species with mysterious origins?